Hello, my name is Edo and I would like to present you my analysis of Tesla vs Volkswagen. Tesla Motors designs, develops, manufactures and sells electric vehicles and advanced electric vehicle powered terrain components. Unlike Tesla Motors, which specializes in electric car segment of the market, Volkswagen Group is a widely diversified company that produces commercial vehicles and passenger cars. Geographically, the largest operation of Tesla Motors are in the US, followed by growth expansion in the Europe and APEC region, especially China. In contrast to Tesla, Volkswagen's main markets are Europe and the fastest growing APEC region, with a small portion of the market in the North and South America. Now I will analyze both companies through hold basic and market implied scenario. Like every other startup firm, Tesla invested heavily in their business, posting negative CFROI till 2013 and high asset growth. Currently, Tesla is in a growing phase of life cycle, posting CFROI above its cost of capital in 2013, with difficulties in 2014 because of problems in delivery in fourth quarter. Market rewarded this growth. Both default scenario and market implied scenario estimates increasing CFROI but increasing asset growth rate. Default scenario implies warranted price with downside potential of 64%. Volkswagen is in a different period of life cycle than Tesla. 13 years, Volkswagen records rising CFROI but below its cost of capital. In the last 3 years, CFROI is over cost of capital driven by high sales growth, well above the industry average from 2010 to 2012. High asset growth was recorded in the last 5 years, mainly causing investments in expanding production and acquiring new brands. Market responded favorably to those movements. Both default scenario and market implied scenario indicates, indicates decreasing CFROI and asset growth. Default scenario implies warranted price with 73% of upside potential. Newest trends in the industry shows strong car sales growth in the EU, US and China market. Forecasts show that car sales growth will continue and it will have positive impact on Tesla sales. Those positive trends will not reflect so well on Volkswagen because falling sales in emerging markets, Russia and South America. United States, Eurozone and China Consumer Confidence Index and disposable income increase since financial crisis, driving a spending on automobiles in the past couple of years and the same trend is expected in the coming years. An analysis of automobile industry indicates that lower oil prices will boost growth in this industry but it will not have major impact on electric car sales. Incentives combined with light vehicle emission standards and regulatory requirements goes in favor to low emission vehicles and put pressure on car makers to produce cleaner cars which increase their production costs. Trends in the industry and future growth potential go in favor to Tesla Motors. Using Holt Lens 3 driver flex model, I will show you why I think that Tesla will outperform in contrast to Holt default scenario. First, I will examine sales growth. Tesla is electric car pioneer with the most advanced technological solutions. All-wheel drive dual motor was launched in November 2014 and customers responded by placing record number of orders in fourth quarter. In the first quarter of 2015, Tesla delivers 30 cars more than projected and recorded a 55% increase over the first quarter last year. Model X first electric crossover SUV will be launched in third quarter of 2015. Also, Model 3 will be launched in 2017. This model will target low and middle income customers. Tesla has high future growth potential in the European and APEC region markets. Last year, Tesla doubled its deliveries to Europe but struggled in China. This presents a huge mid and long term growth opportunity. Tesla increased number of stores and service centers and supercharger network in last year and plan to continue this trend. This will provide fast and free charging to enable convenient long distance travel and remove a barrier to broader adoption of electric vehicles caused by perception of limited vehicle range. Demand for electric vehicles is growing around the world rapidly. The overall market saw a growth rate of 76% last year. I forecasted sales growth of 60% with safety margin 10% of Tesla's projected 70% sales growth in 2015 and gradual decreasing growth rate in the next two years. Tesla will continue to invest in capex but in moderate pace than last year. Operating expenses growth should slow significantly. Gigafactory expects to produce battery packs in 2016 and reach full production capacity in 2020. This will result 30% cost reduction on batteries. Sales growth in combination with the increase of operational efficiency and moderate reduction of investment rate in capex will lead to a gradual increase in operating margin and asset turnover, resulting in a warranted price of $282 US dollars with upside potential of 48%. If Tesla overcomes the risks involving increasing competition in the industry, sales targets, production constraints, manufacturing efficiencies, Model X success, appreciation of US dollar, and implement Gigafactory on schedule, Tesla should outperform with a strong buy.